Okay, go ahead. There you go. All right, everybody, welcome back. Um, we did a full intro and didn't realize the mic wasn't working. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, sorry <laughs> anyway, about that. <laughs> uh, we were just saying sorry we couldn't stream last week. Um, we ended up getting really busy and, and wasn't able to, but uh, Mayhem was able to stream, what did you say, Mr. Shadow? Mr. Shadow, yeah. Mr. Shadow. Uh, so if you get a chance, go back and check that out. Um, and also, last time we played this, we beat El Jefe. Uh, and got Ryoichi. Hell yeah. Uh, all of his stuff. And now we are in the Wild West trying to get Tennessee Kid Cooper. Mm hmm. So let's start it out and get it done. All right. Our adventure starts with Sly, as always. Hi. They're already rigging a news for Tennessee, so we don't have time for a complicated plan. All my data points to one thing. The quickest route inside that prison is to get yourself arrested. Get myself arrested? I trust you, Bentley, but I'm not sure about getting locked up in this town. Sorry, Sly. It's the only way we're gonna reach Tennessee in time. There's just one problem. They're holding Kid Cooper in the maximum security wing. To get yourself thrown in there, you're gonna have to gain outlaw status. So you need to make sure you build a rep before they catch you. Otherwise, they'll throw you in with the common criminals. Ugh, you mean like jaywalkers and litterbugs? Not gonna happen. Well, around these parts, it's probably more like goat thieves and tobacco spitters. But you get the point. For starters, why don't you try defacing all those posters of the sheriff around town? That ought to put a burr under his saddle. Get it? Because we're in the old west? Well, anyway, I'll just let you get started. I applaud your effort, uh, Bentley. Alright. I like that sideways, like, jump in the air shit he does. Alright, I'm actually paying attention. Doing the volume up very high, so it's gonna be really easy to. Not paying attention. Wham! Find I know, right? <laughs> make it look goofy and move on. Just like junior high. I don't know how I was able to get Not those like sale. fine lines it's with the uh, with a big old paintbrush that had both blue and yellow paint on it. It's still. It's a thief thing. Apparently. Oh, I totally forgot there's also like that one, oh, that one part I, I'm gonna like get so annoyed with. Can I just like kill this dude or do I have to like draw him away? I mean you might have to draw him away, I'm trying to think. Do I? Where's my abilities? Hold L2 it. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, that's my costume. Oh, that one? R1? Two. R. Select? I did select, but I brought on my map. Mm, slide to the there. That is. Hmm. Wait, put it on the side. I forgot. <clears throat> huh. Maybe because I don't really have abilities yet? I don't know. Oh, they're all like implemented in. Oh, he's got that. Is this one of them? Or do I have to go to like certain ones? You can go to certain ones. Alright. Wow. I bet the original artist damaged his vision. This reminds me of when I was playing uh, Infamous Second Son. You go around, you can, you have the option to um, put up like graffiti all over the place. And you get the option of doing a good or a bad one. Depending on what your karma that you're going for. I, ended up, I, I did a good run. I, it, was, it was depressing towards the end. <laughs> I was sad. But it was a great game. Go ahead and grab this bottle over here. Okay, yeah, it looks like it's having you get the posters in a certain order. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Oh, 
Hey, we got Del Demon in the house. What's happening? Hey, what's going on? Sorry, we're starting a little late as well, everybody. Um, <clears throat> I have a little bit of a uh, cold, and uh, yeah. I took a nap. If I was and as I just this guy, I would slept not hard. Hang my picture everywhere. And it felt heavenly. <laughs> You're out of tears, Sly. So, I know, I I've been like, I've been getting your Here's cold as well. So that's what happens when we live together. <laughs> And, um, I was so pissed because I ended up... Oh, there's one over here, too. Oh, no. It's oh, that one's like, don't do it. Uh, yeah. Funny. Actually, probably could shoot. But, yeah, you don't know... It's not like in the other ones where you have to actually go into the safe house. You just I gotta, got... like... Oh, it's on a it's, timer. That's right. They're all timer now. I didn't God. like that. Yeah, that was one thing I was kind of annoyed about. I'm like, I don't want to waste the time on trying to get those back. So it's kind of like, eh, those are just do it when we get around to it. Do it when we need the money. Yeah. It doesn't seem like in this one, the the money you get for them doesn't seem to always match right away. Mm. Or like make sense. It always seems like they, they, low, cut, they low cut you. Oh yeah, like you're better off just sticking to pickpocketing. Mm. Like you get more money from it. Because I feel like if I have to race a timer thing... I should like, I should get more money from it, honestly. You passed it. It's oh. the one with the guard. Oh, or the one that had a guard, I guess. Yeah, that's probably why I don't order. think Bane mm. begins to describe this guy. That's a beaut. <laughs> Noodle arm. <laughs> it's an improvement. I'll name this one the Homely Buckaroo. <laughs> <laughs> You're so proud of that one. Square. I know. You're hearing me like, because I'm like, Circle think I'm still playing Warframe, which I was just playing like moments ago. <laughs> uh, no. uh, For a second, I thought that barrel was like lit, but the, the wick just wasn't going anywhere. I'm like, who the fuck puts barrels like that? Alright, let's see what we're gonna do. Sheriff puts up posters <coughs> Give him a new hat. Dirty look. You made him look old. at the very front. I love a challenge. I call it Ten Star Loser. Ten Star Loser. I like it. It's a masterpiece. All right, here we go. This Last guy's one. A real egomaniac. <laughs> Makes him write a sausage. I think he's just a team troublemaker. <laughs> Puts him in a body cast. <laughs> I'm going to find this artist and bust his thumbs! And maybe his pinky. Mm, real tough guy. <laughs> Tweak. Gonna bust the thumbs and maybe a pinky. <laughs> we definitely got under his skin, Sly. You ready for phase two? Absolutely. Apparently, the sheriff also loves lollipops. But his favorite is a particular Cuban variety. Cuban variety. <laughs> That's supposed to be a reference to cigars. Oh, oh that is oh, funny. Me. By far. Gross. <laughs> so, what's Warframe? Oh, it's, you know, Space Ninjas. That's the best way to go about saying it. And who doesn't love Space Ninjas? You have a mini map. Yeah, that one got. Make sure this both ways. Get on here and then train. <laughs> That's one thing I did like about this level was that you, it, you pretty much rail slide the entire duration. Which is nice, and it's like fast too. It's not like I'm wasting my time. <laughs> Lollipop. Murray would like that lollipop. Great job! You just became a criminal fly. I swear, like, I'm getting that annoying feeling where it's like, I'm hearing bottles, and I probably am, but at the same time, I'm just like, oh, man, I'm pretty sure it's just all in my head. Yeah, especially since we have to have the volume so low. 
Matt Live Zombie joining it. Fake and gay. This is fake news. <laughs> Many. LOL. No Trump. <laughs> <clears throat> is it, do I have to go down there or is it up below? No, use the. You have the beacon. I know. Okay. There you go. I had to activate All right, that. This is going perfectly. You'll be locked up in no time. You know, you're a little too excited about sending me to the slammer, Bentley. <laughs> it's all about the job, Sly. Speaking of which, in case you hadn't noticed, this sheriff toothpick is his own biggest fan. <laughs> really? In fact, it looks like he's throwing himself a festival, and it's in full swing. If you take that banner down, I'm sure it'll be the final straw. Right. Let's go rain on this guy's parade. I love how it's just giant ass toothpicks. You mean clothespins? Or clothespins, yeah. Okay. I just uh, <laughs> okay. He was using his junk to hold himself up. What a trooper. I know, right? Talk about yeah. impressive. No I wonder why Carmelita liked him. Appreciation festival for himself. Well, for the time being. Okay, there's the banner. I just need to knock those clothespins off. Jailbird. <laughs> I don't think he's having fun anymore. No, I don't, I don't think he is. <clears throat> yeah. All right, your turn. And it's probably gonna be you for a little while. Yeah. Let's check. Uh, see, what we got thief net rail sprint. There you go. You were pitching about that earlier. Let's go ahead and get you that. I know, right? Terrible fist spin? Oh, all right. Sure, why not? We not like the... we're banking right now. <laughs> yeah, we got the money for everything, so. Alright, well. I'll be doing stuff for a bit. Surrounded by European cowboys. Stripes look good on you. Hell yeah. Gotta I too like to live even dangerously. Huh? It's like, I too like to live dangerously. <laughs> Wasn't his cards like, you have 20, sir? <laughs> or he was at 21. <laughs> <laughs> Hit me. 20. Hit me. So you got 20. Hit me. 21. Hit me. <laughs> It was like right there, but I don't think you uh, really would have. Well, maybe. I forgot how to do like his jump and glide. Looks like it's up to me to recon the area. I need to get some shots. You get to do the person. recon now. Keep a low there you go, Bentley. All by yourself. Don't fuck it up. Be the good photographer we believe you to be. Sly and Tennessee Kid Cooper are in that high tower. Throw a dart at it. I'm coming, guys! <laughs> the only cowboys that matter are giant and screaming. <laughs> They've got a small loan of a million dollars. <laughs> That's how we're able to afford everything. <laughs> yeah, we, we were able to accumulate a small loan of a million dollars. <laughs> Which I'm sure they probably did from the freaking uh, vault. That's so much easier I than pick, the magnet. <laughs> I pickpocket faster than Sly now as Bentley. Alright, let's just be real here. You do have mechanical arms. I know, but that's what I'm saying. Like, with those, I pickpocket twice as fast as you. Yeah. Well, it's my cane just suddenly decided to get, like, fingers. Not bad. No, that's not bad. Not bad, huh? Not bad at all. Mm, that 
It's an interesting side. Let me get a shot. Hmm. A cannon, you say? I'm pretty sure that's gonna be a Murray job. Uh, unless I'm mistaken, that is definitely a munitions dump. Very handy. Uh. I know I'm gonna make that. That's what I thought you were going to. Yeah, give us more money because we need it because we're so poor. Nugget. So the nugget's the 100. Sheriff's badge is the 200. Uh, I don't, I don't, know, I don't, I don't even remember what the 500 one is. So. Yeah, I don't um, remember what all the things are. We're just gonna have to wait until uh, we get it. He's just gonna need to wait. Along the rear wall. Ooh. Ooh. <clears throat> These loadings take a lot longer. Yeah, I know. I feel like throughout the course of this episode, if it's gonna be two hours, we're gonna lose like 10, 15 minutes just, just to loading. Yeah. I have no idea why. Even when it's just something like just going into the safe house, it just takes forever to load. Yeah, it's not like, I don't know, it doesn't seem like there's really that much that needs to take so long to load. I do like that it comes up with like little trip, like little facts or whatever. Yeah, but, I don't know. Giving him the bedroom eyes. <laughs> Join me in the cell for a great time. <laughs> Alright. I like how it looks like they're wearing metal aprons. Um, howdy. Out of yourself. Looks like you must have ticked old toothpick off pretty good. I like that. You got a name? It's Sly. Sly Cooper. Now, son, you should know I don't take kindly to folks funning on my family name. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I swear, I'm not joking. I can explain. Talk ain't worth spit, boy. Only one way to prove you're a Cooper. Bust us out of here. Right. My friend Bentley's working on that. I hope. <laughs> All right, that would be me. Square button to swing that ball. Oh, it doesn't look like it's really even attached to my foot. Like, I just... Somehow I can just do that. I, like, how strong is Sly that he's throwing that around with such force? Yeah, you know, I... <laughs> now, according to, like, physics and momentum, he doesn't need to throw it that hard to get the momentum to, but he's still got to throw it with a good force to bust through a... But to also make it come back. Yeah, which like, means... you don't see the chain connecting to him at all, so it's not like he can pull it back. Puts a wicked backspin on it. Yeah, apparently. Imagine how I'm playing pool. Oh, by the way, anyone watching, um, <clears throat> we went back and got the last the bottles in the last level. Oh, yeah. Uh, and we opened the safe. It ended up being um, a bullet Here's magnetizer. Oh, so now we can get bullets, or not bullets, Jesus Christ, coin, <laughs> a coin, coin magnetizer, mag Jesus, a coin magnet. <laughs> it tells you I, mean, I, I play too many games now, um, a coin magnetizer, so now we can get coins from farther away, a bullet magnetizer, <laughs> oh my goodness, ah, uh, I forgot, a circle, or is that how you're throwing it, square is me throwing it, triangle? Triangle. I don't think I've learned it yet. Ah. I think it's kind of like you have to. Yeah, because I thought maybe it might have been that. Was that. Like X or something. Okay, kids, stand clear. All right. I guess break time is over. It's over. All right. So I gotta slowly make my way you through can this. If you hit it. Yeah, because there. Not sure if you remember, but back in the Why first the only one level we did, there were some here. areas that had, Listen, like, friend, these red things or, like, tomorrow. big cages. Uh, are you too close to it? You gotta be some... Oh, my God. Right. There we go. Okay, yeah, so you gotta, you gotta be a distant chance to be whacking it right next to it. <laughs> Not 
break more than one. <laughs> oh my god! Remind me of the beetles from, uh... I can't get away from them! Come here. There you go. There you go. I am still getting hit from it. Oh my god. Yeah, so L2. She got it? Or L1 or whatever it is? Uh. Well, if you hold it. L2. L2. Well, because you hold it, you can swipe through your costumes. Yeah, yeah, if I were to hold it. Alright, alright, come here, Tom. <laughs> okay, I can't hit that because it's not red, so that one. Well, is you're, not, you're not in your costume either. It doesn't matter. It was oh, still show. I thought it was one of those things where, like, maybe in your costume do it. Yeah. See now, because it's like blocked. That's kind of. Nice. Oh, I just shot it. There. It is. Oh, you just okay. So you gotta go back the other way, probably knock something around and fall into that. Yeah. <clears throat> so he's gonna go ahead and hang tight there. There, I got some health back. <laughs> yeah, cause uh, you're kinda low. That and more than likely, I'm sure we're gonna need it. Yeah. To help him get across. Naturally. Thanks, Bentley. Son, who is it you keep talking to? <laughs> it's like in those uh, like TV shows where they they're looking at the cameras like, who are you looking at? <laughs> Don't worry about it. <laughs> Does, doesn't it concern you. You need to carry some of that TNT so we can blow the gate. Sure. I got voices in my head telling me to blow things up too. <laughs> huh. They've been right so far. Let's get to it. <laughs> <laughs> They've been right so far. <laughs> Ready? Well, in all retrospect, when a voice tells you to blow stuff up, can it really be wrong? Honestly, like I, I don't see what could possibly. Oh, there we go. That's what I'm looking for. Look at that. Oh. I like how they make it look like you're running so fast. Oh fuck. <laughs> what did we learn? What did we learn? Cameras. <laughs> Cameras suck. What did we learn? Whoosh! <laughs> Swooshka. Alright. I'm gonna need to clear out all the guys. This one I think you gotta be smart about when you, how you move stuff. <laughs> Bullet magnetizer. <laughs> what is you, a mag? Maybe. Oh. Alright, you're up here and you... You gonna hang out with this pig? All right, you, Mr. Pig, Mr. Pig, listen here, man. Protect him. Yeah, I think I hit all those over the kind of walk path. Like, yeah. Uh, either cross or something. So I'm gonna do this one. We should rethink this TNT idea. One first. 
So I want to make sure he doesn't go as soon as I put it over there, you know? Yeah. I'd like to make it through this in one piece. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Don't mind. Plus, he doesn't want to cross you, dude. Oh, he, he okay. Wants to go he has to go through the to gate. Go, yeah. Gotcha. Uh, try not to forget who's carrying the dynamite. Where are you going? Oh, I'll grab these. Uh, do it again. Uh. The voices keep telling me to blow, but I ain't gay. <laughs> Thank you, Not Alive Zombie, for that lovely, um... They want to, <laughs> they want you to show your B to blow skills. What? <laughs> uh, it's, it was from, um... He's got shiny. Oh, he does? Ooh, don't mind if I take that, good buddy. You don't like this. Look at that cow butt. Yeah, look at cow butt. Oh, no, oh, deputy badge. Oh, sheriff badge. should rethink this TNT idea. There we go. Well, looks like we can mosey oh, so now. me and Dave went and we saw Thor Ragnarok. Nice hmm. job, it was... It was way better than we thought it was going to be, honestly. Nice. I, I, I liked Thor 1. I did not care for Thor 2. But this Thor 3, I really enjoyed. It was really good. Why? Use that melting pot to move Tennessee. Oh god, this is gonna suck. Well, looks like our goose ain't cooked yet. Oh. Yeah, I, I don't know what happened there. Well, I just, like, like, like you said, you just, just like, yeah. got stuck. It's not moving. I, I didn't know what you caught on. I don't either. Like, I got stuck on that ledge for some reason. You had heels on, and they got stuck in the grate. That's probably what happened. Yeah. I, it, it, I hate when that happens. I, I knew I shouldn't have worn my good heels. Get the lid out, boy. They, they went so well with your stripes. They did. I want to make sure I was being as fashionable as possible during these fights. There like we Dimitri. Go. Yeah, exactly. He was the one that put my outfit together for this Wild Wild West adventure. This TNT ain't gonna blow itself up, you know? Let's get! <laughs> and now! <laughs> I'm just scuttle along with that. Ah. Now you get that ability. Yeah, now I know how to well, do the rolling. Looks like somebody supplied toothpicks with new technology. That is a face carp array fly. What touch means instant death. Switch it to your jailbird costume I love and try using that ball in a here. different way. <laughs> Press the R2 button to get on top of it. You should be able to ride it around using the left stick. She told you to. Mm-hmm. Alright, how do I... There we go. Hard to, that's all it <clears throat> You take off those fine china heels. Those are for a guest to look at. They're supposed to go back up into the, um... Nope, 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 nope. That was cold. Oh, shit. <laughs> I tapped it. I couldn't remember if those actually blew up or not when you capped them. Yeah. Then you're right, you know. You're basically a wrecking ball rolling. I gave it like a wreck. Oh shit. Oh shit. Ah. And there we go. Huh. That did the trick. Let's keep moving along. 
<laughs> Speaking of, I used all the medicine from the fine china. <laughs> the good china cabinet. I even used the cabinet. So that button not only turned off that area, but turned off all the searchlights in that area too. Yeah, apparently it just controlled everything. Oh, this is this is a fall one. So, tell me about Sheriff Toothpick. Toothpick? That shady son of a gun is crookeder than a sack of corkscrews. Plus, he framed me for that bank job. Took the gold oh, himself. Yeah, I just know it. All right, so I have to move all those stuff over there. Mhm. Mm all right. So you need to move. <clears throat> you need to move this one, the one you left first, forward. Rage, pure fine china rage. Yep, the cabinet was consumed. All in one bite, Jess. <laughs> Hope you weren't attached to that uh, fine china cabinet. Alright, hard, right? Oh, 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 easy, easy, easy. I like that it's conveniently don't have anything right here. I know, right? I just... Yeah, I kind of just realized that. I'm just like, I guess habit of clicking the other one. Right. Yep. Oh, I can't do anything with that, so I guess I go... Yeah, you go with that one. Uh... Right, right there. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> We're really not the old one. Strong one around here. Well, I think it was back when we were doing the prologue, you made the note uh, mention that, like, Sly, like, looks a lot more, like, bulkier. <laughs> yeah, like. And this, like, who than the other ones. Now you can get off the one to the one. I was gonna say, he looks more, I guess, stout now. Wait, can I break this? Probably closer. Those, uh, here's where I think dynamite. That's, okay. the, that's the patch wall. If you could, it probably would have been like a, uh, what is it, a, um, oh, yeah. one of those hidden Sly Cooper symbol things. Yeah, would have been the, uh, like the mask or whatever. Funny how I'm the one who's yeah. gotta love the dynamite. Well, let's get going. I ain't getting any younger. Come on, buddy. Let's blow some shit up. Whoa. <laughs> oh shit. a cooper the second i laid eyes on you thanks but tennessee we need to go you ready well uh, not really whoa <laughs> just fucking kicks his ass <laughs> yeah the great bust Huh. <laughs> uh.
Dimitri once used the clockwork tail feathers as counterfeit printing plates. <clears throat> he used to make all the money. Somehow, we had managed to survive and make it back to the hideout. Once there, Tennessee gave us the lowdown. How he'd been planning the bank heist that should have gone down in Cooper Lore as his masterpiece. Only to have a mysterious new sheriff arrest him before he even reached the bank. Curiously, the robbery still occurred and all the bank's gold was stolen. Tennessee was charged even though he was already in prison and the gold was never recovered. Of course, he had a strong suspicion it was Sheriff Toothpick himself who had stolen the gold and framed him. And after a little research, there was no doubt he was right. Bentley was able to uncover plenty of information about the Sheriff. Although he changed his appearance somewhat, Toothpick was a two-bit gangster from present-day Eastern Europe. According to his file, he'd grown up loving two things, gold and cowboy movies. <laughs> he eventually specialized in gold robberies, and for a while had masterminded some of the largest scores around the world. Then he abruptly vanished. The word was he had always thought of himself as a gunslinger, and it looked like he had found a way to make that a reality. The guy was a real loose cannon. We'd have to watch our backs if we were going to steal back the missing gold and restore Tennessee Kid Cooper's reputation as the greatest outlaw of the Old West. I can imagine to get his uh, weapons from the looks of it. Oh, it is you, my friend. Trying to figure out which part we're at in the <coughs> trivia. The one that I gave you uh, were where we left off, but we were on. Yeah, I got that one. Got that one. That one. Did that one. Did that one. Did that one. <laughs> Y'all should beatbox during the loading screen. No. <laughs> I'm gonna say no to that one, buddy. <laughs> uh, that's a no for me. I think we actually finished this minute. Now we just went to the second one. Alright, yeah. Cooper for hire. Alright, I don't know if you remember this one or not, but where is the Panda King working on his new fireworks technique? It's a place. See if you um. remember. Okay, oh, I remember the some first order of business name. is getting Tennessee his oh, guns like back. Well, it's just the that one gun now. I upgraded. Really weird name. Yeah, I need my shooting iron back. Agree. Uh, okay. According to my sources, Toothpick closed this old gold mine several months ago, declaring it unsafe. In fact, he's converted it to a storage facility for his stolen goods, including Tennessee's gun. We'll need to take measures with this job, so has not to arouse suspicion. So, employing a masterful disguise, <laughs> I'll tail Toothpick to the mine's entrance and mark it with a homing beacon. Murray, you'll then use the beacon to find your way there. Toothpick's sure to have secured the entrance, so we'll need your formidable skills to get it open. Then, once we have access, Tennessee can get in and get his gun back. Let's get to work. I actually don't remember. Okay, I it was keep the Kun Lun Mountains. He is working hard <laughs> on it. He is not working on it in Brazil or Hong Kong, and he he lead doesn't okay, exist. I need to keep up with this guy. I oh, was there close, No, it right. was just if you knew that one or not. Um, let's see. This is <laughs> this is an easy one. Who is the brains of the Cooper oh, Gang's operation? Oh, definitely it's gotta be Murray. <laughs> yeah, it's a Bentley. Bentley the turtle. This little shellhead's technical expertise helps to save Sly from a trap towards the end of Sly Cooper and the Thievius Raccoonus. As for the others, Murray is the brawn and, and driver of the gang. For the gang. Sly is the master of stealth and Carmelina isn't even a member of the gang. She's a cop that chases them. Alright, let's see. Now, Most boss battles you. in the Sly Cooper series are fought between the Just boss and Sly Cooper it. himself. But Murray like has you. always been known to get in on a battle. Which of these bosses is not one Murray has fought himself? Mugshot, 
Octavio, Rajan, Captain oh, Lookweed. He's two bit down and worth the two bits they spent making it. Oh, a step in horse. Which one hasn't he fought? Which of these bosses I'd is not one Murray you, has fought himself? Uh, Captain Lefui. Because Captain Lefui was fought by Penelope. That is correct. Though the ma majority of bosses are fought directly as Sly Cooper, there are still a fair number fought by his teammates. And Murray finds himself, and Murray himself has fought more than most of other companions. He fought Rajan, the, the Indian tiger in Sly Cooper 2. After Sly had become unconscious and Rajan called Murray a fat, so pathetic weakling. Nice in the third game of the series, Murray fought Mugshot while Bentley fought off some goons with, with booby traps. <laughs> um, in the airplane hangar to prevent him from sabotaging the Cooper gang uh, plane. He fought Octavi Octavio also in Sly Cooper 3. But as he wasn't training with the group, he could not fight until the tar was removed from the canals, the canals in uh, Venice. When the black water runs pure. Going to find this Time to take a little look. That's my goal. <laughs> no one's gonna find that little door that's in the corner. That's pretty right obvious. Right next to the computer. All right, time to open up a can of hack. Oh, scorpions! Guys, help! Yee-haw! The cavalry's are coming! Don't worry, Bentley! I got the bug spray right here! <laughs> I like how you like rotate them, <laughs> like you pedal it to like shoot it, which is pretty cool. Okay. I'm sure you probably know this one. In slide three, you slide in disguise and the guards stop you. What is the button sequence for the daytime password they ask you in Octavia's level? Crap, I know it's not it's not gonna be ultra ultra base base, it's gonna be the last buttons you press. Yeah. Uh uh X X circle circle. Reverse that. Circle circle X X. Correct. X X X triangle and triangle circle circle triangle are button sequences for other passwords in that level. Circle 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 is a password sequence in Luffy's level pirate level. Clockwork, but revenge is the prime ingredient in the fountain of youth. I've kept myself alive for hundreds of years with a steady diet of blank and hate. What did Clockwork say? Uh, jealousy. Uh, steady diet of. What did you say, jealousy? I said jealousy, and I'm trying to think and of. And then, and hate. It was just a one word. So you're correct. It was oh. jealousy. Clockwork was jealous for the Cooper legacy. He was immortal, wanted revenge, and has wiped out Sly's family. <clears throat> but he said jealousy in the dialogue in Sly Cooper and Ephesius Rectus. Do we need one answer? I thought, I thought it was like his thing was blank and blank. blank. No, it was just a healthy diet of jealousy in here. So it was just diet of blank and voila. Oh, okay. Elastic projectiles. Perfect for shooting around corners. Whoa, those co Whoa, those codes sound like hip lyrics. I swear I can hit this. I swear I can <laughs> hey, hit this. Hey, what's going on, Migsy? How are you doing? Long time no see. Or er, talk. <laughs> okay. I don't... Have you ever, like, played these uh, Sly Cooper games? <laughs> We're actually on the last uh, game right now. And if only hacking was this easy. <laughs> like, I, seriously. I, I want to know someone that hacks like this. I, I, I feel like in this game... <clears throat> I've been not playing it for like a week. I feel like the controls are a lot more like sensitive in moving. Uh, there you go. <laughs> you find that sweet spot. Find, when, you, when you get that spot just right. <laughs> Look at all your blue balls going all over the place. Yeah. There's a strong blue balls right here. <laughs> laser loop will work perfectly oh, uh, on that switch. If I press and hold oh, the R2 yeah. button while moving the ship, I can close I am. the damaging laser loop. <laughs> I fucking Tron oh, shit right here. I am here. Paul Walker. Ha <laughs> 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 ha! Too soon. Wow. Too soon? I don't care. Never got to play them, but I've been 
but I've seen some of your uh, replays and it looks fun. They are. They're they're a series that we've played for a long time and we always go back to. Yeah, and most of the time we always play it together. I think this one, I think, might have been the first one where we actually played it individually. And never got around to doing and, it together. And I don't think, yeah, I don't think we ever really played it together. Uh, it doesn't look like it, but it looks like you can just kind of proceed on. I don't know why this was a thing. <laughs> Which villain from the third game joins your game? Last game, someone, one of the villains joins you. Dimitri? No, because you don't fight him in that one. Wait. In? The third game. The one we just did. Yeah, reread re the question because I think I got it confused. Which villain from the third game joins your game? Third. Whoa. Oh, I, oh, I didn't oh. think that was actually going to come full circle. Um, which villain from the third game yes. joins the game? Yes. This lock requires a data key. All right. Put the I damn key in there. Key to disable that <clears throat> so I'm not going to try to think back to the... <laughs> Aw, brother-sister bonding. <laughs> oh, we try. We try. Oh, God. We get along great. Oh, this just reminds me of the bigger things that were in the other one. Oh yeah, the the really crazy. Oh god, it's, it's like splitting. This is not going well. Oh, where's that one at? Uh, where's my? Oh, there it is. That's what I want. Yeah, ricochet that shit. <laughs> Too lazy to take a med on. There you go. Now I just gotta grab the key. Which villain joins the Cooper gang? Yeah, from the third game. So it's an enemy that we that we fought. Yeah, it's an enemy that you fight that eventually becomes a part of your team. Oh, wait, over here. Wasn't Dimitri because you ended up right, saving him from the um from the jail from the jail cell. And he kind of becomes part of yeah, that's, just from that. You don't have to fight him. That's because when you said which villain joined the gang, in quick in first quick response, I was like, oh, okay, we got Dimitri and we else got like and, 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 and panicking and all that jazz. Yeah. Um, don't let them lie to you. They hate. They. Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> oh, they have. Dra Wait, hold on. Hold on, hold on. I gotta, like, slow down this. Don't let them lie to you. They have Dragon Ball Z-like battles. I witnessed and survived to tell the tale. <laughs> Dragon Ball Z battles where we're just screaming for, like, five days to build up the energy. <laughs> there's filler episodes, and then there's those. <laughs> there's just episodes of us continuously screaming. Dude, this is how this is how you lift with your legs and not your back. It's, look at this. Look at that form. That is slight bend of the knee, beautiful form. I am still trying to think of. Will somebody just go through the damn door? <laughs> That's impressive that he was able to even lift that door. Honestly, because that is a huge ass door. Penelope. Correct you. What was her villain she was name? A she was a Black Baron. Correct. Penelope, the RC expert, posed at the um, as the ominous Black Baron. She did so to get around the age restriction in the dogfights. When Sly defeated the Black Baron, Penelope came clean and joined the gang. That one was... I had to really think about that one for a second. That one, I was actually surprised that one took you a little bit. You're usually well, because after, after I said... Um, Demetri right away, and I'm like, all right, now I gotta think. And then I was just like trying to remember what the bosses were trying to trying to make sure I don't get confused with other ones. Yeah. All right, and Sly Three Honor Amongst Thieves. Sly fights against a person who worked for his father. What was his name? Once in targeting mode, yeah. I can use the right stick to place the cursor Bip. over a target. In Sly 3, Honor Among Thieves, Sly fights against a person who worked with his father, who worked for his father. What was his name? 
Oh god, god. It's that monkey, isn't it? Mm-hmm. What was the name of that stupid guy? <laughs> that stupid monkey! I wonder what old toothpick is cooking up in I have a new toy to show you, Elliot, on crack frame. <laughs> Roger. <clears throat> um Doctor Doctor Nefarious. <laughs> Nefarious. <laughs> No. Um, Dr. Plughead? No. You're right with the doctor part, though. <laughs> yeah, I know he's a doctor. Yeah, that, I, knew I that know part. he has a PhD. In, I, in what? I have no idea. <laughs> Dr. Robotnik. <laughs> Ooh, big old I, is gonna I don't know what his name is. Give up. First, yeah. press Dr. M. R2 button to enter crack shot mode. Next, I can use Letter. the right Gets stick to move the cursor and draw a bead <clears throat> on multiple targets. Then I just release the R2 button to blast them. Okay, I can so, only use yeah, Dr. M. Dr. M, the Mandarin well. monkey that Sly faces tricky. off against in the last episode, which I was surprised did time. not take me as long as I was thinking it was going to. I actually got through that fight in like 30 minutes. Great. It was just oh. getting used to his pattern of the way he I fights. I guess I should just do Tennessee Kid Cooper's like ability, you know, thing he created for real Yeah, side. the thing he's famous for. Yeah, what, <laughs> you he's, know, what, he's, in, what he's in the book for. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, uh, that Sly faces off against in the last episode with the brains of Sly's father's gang. <laughs> Much like Bentley is to Sly, in addition, Mr. M. McSweeney, Mr. McSweeney, who was shown in the prologue of the game as the one who mentioned the, the Cooper Vault was the muscles of his dad's gang, much like Murray. All right, let's see if you remember. How many sharks does the guru take over? 11. Oh, he takes over 10. What? I thought the one he rode didn't have, you, I had to get like a whole bunch of others no, because once you take them back, there is one that you grab to go and take over those ones, but he still counts as part of the... Ah, probably, he probably gets uh, at the very end. In the final level with Dr. M, in order to achieve Sly's King, Guru must, ta must take ten sharks over using Dream Time. He is the only member of the game without metal, so he is the one to destroy the, the giant magnetic platform. He uses sharks to do so. He takes control of the shark. He takes control. God, I cannot read today. My God. He takes control of the shark after shark. Having the other sharks he already has taken over follow him. Which is pretty impressive that he can like take over five sharks at one time. Have the other sharks he already has taken over follow him. And he has them furiously attack the platform until it is destroyed. Mm-mm. Yeah, the Guru is a really cool addition to the team. Yeah, he. I wish he did kind of stick around, but yeah, he he was definitely a really cool one to play because it's just the fact that he, you could just take over the minds of other like enemies of the worse. the weak minded, the simple minded. Yeah, <laughs> the simple minded. <laughs> all right, which of the following character is one of Sly's best friends and is the brains of all heist emissions? Murray, Penelope, Guru, or Bentley? Definitely the Guru. That's <laughs> uh, Bentley. Bentley the turtle. Correct! You do not get Penelope and Guru until the third game. Bentley and Murray are lifelong friends of yours. Bentley, the brains, was injured in the second game, and Murray blinks himself for what happened. He leaves the team in the third game, so you must get him back. Bentley is confined to a wheelchair in the third game, and he has rigged it to pickpocket, triple jump, accelerate, and throw bombs. He is not only the brains, but also the demolition expert. And the builder of pretty much fucking everything. <laughs> yeah, uh, going back to, uh, Migsy said, which version of these games are you playing? Uh, we're doing the PS3 version. The, um, the first one, the first lie was a PS2 game. Yeah, well, for right now, for what we're doing, um, I have the Sly collections for Sly for uh, the PS3. So, so we're playing that, and then uh, once we finish the collection, then we want to, this one, Thieves in Time, which is the fourth game, also on the PS3. Yeah, so we're trying to do like all like 
PS3 games and stuff like that, and some PS2 that are that were, I guess, like remastered for PS3. Yeah. We don't have the setup to be able to stream PS2 games <laughs> straight from the system, so <laughs> I can take control over ten sharks and a guppy. <laughs> and a guppy. <laughs> that makes it says I can take ten tickles. Yeah. <laughs> I'm show you my dinghy. <laughs> Ten Got tickles. It. In Sly 2, Band of Thieves, how was Sly meant to stop John Passan from completing the long rolling competition? In Sly 2, Band of Thieves, how was Sly meant to stop John Passan from completing the log rolling competition? The log rolling, didn't they throw like oil or something on the barrels? I'll give that to you, yes. Greasing the logs. In the mission briefing, Bentley mentioned that Sly was in charge of greasing the logs. However, they were forced to take judges' places and give John Passan a 0 out of 10. He just stays on the railing, right? You don't have to, like, if you jump over it, you don't have to, like, respin the... With it. No, he's. He, I tried that the first time, and yeah. Oh god, I'm not gonna make this. Uh, Way to make that. I'm not gonna make. Made it. Yeah, he he totally already does it. I think when he jumps, it looks like he also like automatically um. Or like when the rail ends, he'll automatically like jump for me. I don't even have to jump. Oh, nice. All right. This is question fifty-one. What is the technique that the Panda King was working on in the first game? Flame Foo. That's correct. For he, for this, he literally sets his hands on fire. It wasn't good enough to beat Sly, though. This fight took place Man, in the first game. For you. <laughs> he literally sets his hands on fire. <laughs> so is Murray, which is it's cooler when he does it. He's hot, hot, hot. Alright, where does Sly have to face off the, with clockwork in Sly Cooper and the Thievius Raccoonus? Or, yeah, Thievius uh, Raccoonus. It's a volcano. Correct. Do you remember... If you can't name the name of the volcano, do you remember the place? It wasn't up in Alaska, was it? No. It wasn't anything to do with uh, America. I like... I don't think it was in like the Bahamas or something. I thought it was somewhere like exotic. I thought the same thing too, but I was wrong. There's nothing to do with America, and that includes like Hawaii and stuff. That includes Hawaii and all that. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know. I I remember he it was a volcano. Okay, yeah, like honestly, this is one of those things. that's like I I would not have really guessed. And I am amazed with them to even come up with places like this that wasn't like, that's kind of like out of the blue. This, the volcano is the Krak Karu Volcano in Russia. Crack. <laughs> Damn Russians. <laughs> so it's not vodka. <laughs> the Krak Vodka Volcano. No, the Vodka Volcano. The VV. <laughs> the VV. The, uh... The Kunlun Mountains are the lair for the Panda King. Miss Ruby hides in the Hyatian, probably pronouncing that wrong, and I apologize. Uh, jungle and Mugshot is in Mesa City. What leads Bentley to discover that Clockwork's lair is in the Crack Karu volcano is the metal used in the high tech blasting vehicles that Sly pilots in Miss Ruby's and the Panda King's lair, respectively. Which is pretty amazing he was able to figure that out, honestly. Yeah. He's a clever one, that turtle. Uh, let me answer, let me have you answer this one real quick, just because I haven't seen the next question. Um, how many guards must the Gru take, take out with the wolf in Sly 3 on the mission Giant Wolf Massacre? Um... I'm trying to think because I'm trying, I'm trying to think of like the diagram because every time you took an enemy, you put their face. Uh huh. I want to say it was like either 20 or 25. Too high. It was 15. The reason Guru is taking out the guards is so the Cooper King doesn't have to put up with the Black Baron's so pilot. It was three rows of five. Yeah. I for, knew it was five in a row. <laughs> for the I just couldn't remember how many rows there were. 
At the end of the mission, Sly say, says that that's 15 less pilots in the game in the finals tomorrow. All right. All right. <laughs> the we help Trump win volcano. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. In Sly 3, Honor Among Thieves, Murray was finally given the ability to pickpocket enemies. What is his unconventional method of stealing valuables from guards' pockets? Picking them up and shaking them. Correct. He shakes it out of their pockets. Pickpocketing. He shakes it like a Polaroid picture. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Pickpocketing is a great way to help... Uh, get some extra cash, which can be extremely helpful to buy expensive items and power-ups on the thief net. However, up until Sly 3, only Sly could pickpocket. However, both Murray and Bentley were given the ability to pickpocket, though with much different methods than Sly. Murray could hit an enemy and stomp his foot on the ground to pick him up. Then he would shake the enemy around until money and items fell out of his pockets. But the danger with this method is method is that the guards create a lot of noise and alert other nearby enemies. Bentley also had a newly learned uh, pickpocket skill. But instead of using brute force as Murray did, uh, he would use a magnet to suck out enemies, or suck out coins and valuables from the pockets of enemies. Which was like just a magnet on a fishing uh, pole. Which was hilarious. Yeah. Oh, speaking of shaking it like a Polaroid picture, um, if you actually take a Polaroid picture, you're not supposed to shake it because it can damage the image. So you just have to like let it let it sit there and dry on its own. Wow, I'm pretty sure everybody has been jacking that up. That's like when they say don't blow on a game cartridge. <laughs> you do. That's exactly what it's like. That's exactly what it is. But everyone does it and they're like, it works every time. <clears throat> Who are secret members of the Fiendish Five, the enemy thief gang that killed Sly's father? What are the members? No. Who are the secret members of the Fiendish Five, the enemy thief gang that killed Sly's father? Oh, so I have to name the five. Nope. Who, who are secret members? Who are secret members? Oh, shit. Um, this is one of those you gotta listen to the wording. Do it again, because I think I'm not understanding the question. Alright, listen very carefully. Who are the secret members of the Fiendish Five? The enemy thief king that killed Sly's father. You're not going to start wearing that mustache all the time, are you? Does it want to name multiple or just one? Because it's saying secret members. Exactly. This is where wording really plays in. I shake my ass like a Polaroid picture. <laughs> it, it is getting damaged as well. It, oh, is it getting damaged as well? Possibly. Potentially. But that's not going to stop you. Okay, I know you know this answer, and I feel like you're questioning it. I am, and so I just, know I so am. So just, whatever your first instinct is, go with it. Because I want to, my first instinct is to name the Fiendish Five members. Yeah. So, so that would be mugshot. That would be. Um, I'm telling you right now, you're wrong. Yeah. Because it, it, it's not asking for who, you know, name the Fiendish Five. Not, yeah. It, it's who are the secret members of the Fiendish Five. So just think very carefully. So obviously, you know the difference between the Fiendish Five and the Claw Gang. Yeah. So you got like you have the right people, but think like, who are the secret members? And the description will probably uh, explain why you're probably having trouble. Yeah, more than likely. So I'm, not, I'm gonna have one of those fucking kidding me moments. I don't know, I cannot think. There are no secret members. Oh, that was a trick fucking question! Right, I let, knew let, it! Let me read the description. Trick question! If you got this wrong, you probably thought of the Claw Gang in Sly 2. In that case, the secret members are Contessa and Constable Neela. Clockla is, a con is Constable Neela in Clockwork's body, and Mugshot is an original member of the Fiendish Five. Oh. They didn't have any secret members. It was in the second one when yeah, you had, right. when you had uh, the Claw Gang. They had secret members. Oh, that's such a good question, though. Yeah. Because it was, it was a trick one. It really makes you think. Look I thirsty. fucking knew it, too. I thought I knew there was none. <laughs> yeah. Get your bear, bear. <laughs> Get your, I love how you're playing Tapper now. 
Babalat. 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 Let's say Bud Light or uh, Bud Light. I'm always trying to remember what they're shouting. It, they're saying Bud or Bud Light. Oh, okay. But what you do is you just say Bud Bud Light. But you just say fast. Bud Bud Light. Because <laughs> I know one of them has like Bud Bud Light and Miller Light. I, I like how you're supposed to be giving them like what's the root beer, I'm assuming. Uh, yeah, it's probably better than the on the lemonade from uh. Fly 3 in uh, Guru's area, the lemonade bar. Yeah. Alright, where are the raging alcoholics at? You go! No, let's see if you oh, can. Oh, there's the alcoholic <laughs> Let's see if you can uh, answer a question as you're doing this. Dimitri, you blink, blink! You chateau box! <laughs> what did we see at the end of the black ch chateau? What did you call it? Call me Chatterbox. Close! Change the first word. Got box right. Cracker box. Yeah, there you go. You cracker box! Dimitri called Sly cracker box after he was defeated. His last words were these the in Sly 2 Band of Thieves. Okay, this one's kind of weird <clears throat> because it doesn't give you any options. Yeah, it's kind of vague. Which villain was not in the first game? Looking good, Sly. Then it doesn't give me any. It it literally just says which villain was not in the first game. Um. Um. All the villains in the second game. <laughs> I don't know. It, it, it's it, it's Neela. Um, I don't really know how they're how you're expected to. Yeah, I get don't. to that conclusion. It said Constable Neela does not come. In until the second game. Other villains from the first game are Mugshot and Panicking. Yeah, I feel like that one is supposed to be a multiple choice because, yeah, you know, like I said, you got Constable Neela, you also got, um, you know, Contessa, and like you have so many other ones. Like, yeah, it's there's uh, no that, real that way to question. answer that. In which game do you get to fight the same villain in more than one level, not counting the tutorial? What villain do you get to... No, in which game oh. do you get to fight the same villain in more than one level? The second game. Correct. In the second game, you play in multiple levels with the same villain. And Constable Neela is found more than once throughout the game. You fight Dr. M multiple times in the third game, but it is in the same level. Because mm. you're always at the island. Yeah. Oh boy, here's a, here's a long one. In the first episode of Sly 3, Honor Among Thieves, Sly and Bentley are the only two members of the Cooper gang you can play as. Yet, at the end of the game, you control a total of seven characters, eight, including Carmelita, who is not a member of the gang. Which of the following shows the correct order of how they join the team? I was going to say, are you going to list There's, them? Or? Okay. There, I'm going to list them, but um, listen carefully because you're going to get a lot of Okay. Stop, okay. Um, so option A is Guru, Murray, Penelope, Dimitri, Panicking. Option B is Dimitri, Murray, Guru, Penelope, Panicking. Option C is Murray, Dimitri, Guru, Penelope, Dim uh, Panicking. And fourth option is Murray, Guru, Penelope, Panda King, and Dimitri. That one I can see as a trick question because I know you do get, um, I, I know it would be Murray and then Guru and the rest, but with Dimitri, does he count him as having him party crew in the first time you meet him when you take him out of the jail? Or are they going by, like, you, when you repay his favor when you go, he cause becomes your uh, dive guy? Because he was the one that... Which, which one do you think it is? And I can, I can explain it without even having to read the description. Um, I'm Actually, thinking they're going that. off of when he got the scuba gear and then he becomes part of the group. The group. All right, so... What, what, uh, so... Here are your options so you can look at it and pick one. Uh, it's easier. I would probably go. A, C, D. 
Probably D, just because okay. you do the whole... <clears throat> okay. That's when he officially becomes part okay. of your crew as so the dive you, guy. you chose op the fourth option, which was Murray, Guru, Penelope, Panda King, and Dimitri. Otherwise, but I would have gone B. That is correct. If you selected the one where Dimitri is at the start of the list, you didn't read the question all the way because it asked for the correct order of when they joined the team. Yeah. With the exception of the final episode, each one added a new member of the team. Fucking knocking up. An opera fear reinstated Murray back into the gang, who wanted Crazy to get permission horse. from the guru in Rumble Down Under. With the guru, when, with the guru joining the team, they managed to get Penelope, Bentley's girlfriend to be, in Flight of Fancy, which Can lead, I which led guys? to shock of Bentley coming to the idea of allowing the Panda King to join the group in a cold alliance. This leaves Dimitri to get his greasy, sweet diving gear and join the gang in Dead Men Tell No Tales. Okay. Because after you get his gear and you like you like finish that episode, yeah. it's, it, it says in there, it's like, <clears throat> he joined the gang even though nobody had actually asked him. That's anything. what I was They all have their of. hands on him and then he just gives a thumbs up. Yeah. So I was like, okay, are they going by when he officially became part? Or yeah. when he was kind of like already a part with the whole... Um, saving his life. Alright, which of these- Oh, shit! Poop a little bit. Um, which of these places has the gang visited? Grand Canals of Venice? Eiffel Tower? Uluru? All of these. What's the second and third one? Eiffel Tower and Uluru. U-L-U-R-U. Mmm. I was, they've been to Paris multiple times, actually. But do they mean like been to the Eiffel Tower itself? Oh, there we go. There's the 500. It's a belt buckle. Belt buckle. I can knock these guys out. Easy to kill. Yeah, which place? Which of these places has the gang visited? Eiffel Tower, Grand Canal, Venice, Uluru, Paul. Ilu, I don't know. I'm gonna say just because I know they've been to the first two, um, all of the above. Good, using those test taking skills to your advantage. Yes, all of these. When fighting Octavio, you were in the Grand Canals of Venice. Yep. You see the Eiffel Tower a few times, although you never actually get near it. You see it in the level with Dimitri. Um, and also when you finish Colossal. Yeah. You're. In the helicopter, and Sly says he should have realized something was up when he saw the Eiffel Tower like 15 times. Yeah. And Ilu Il sorry, Iluru, or however you pronounce it, is another name for Ayers Rock, which you must visit during the level in Australia. You must drive the miners out of Ayers Rock. That's Guru's area. Okay. Gotcha. Alright, well, you're gonna do that. Alright, you go, you go do that potty thing you do. <laughs> you do you. You do you. you. Do you. I don't think. Oh, well, yeah, I can. I just gotta deal with that crap. God damn it. I want, I want that. How do I get up there? Cause I want that. Oh, come on, grab it. Fine. Let's see if I can get up here. It's not like the machines are being amused, but I don't think anyone's using them. All right. Oh, I think I just had to get up on there, probably. Ugh. Fine! Since they're gonna make me do it. Oops, Daisy. Whoosh! Oh, uh, can I not get up on that then? I think I have to move this thing. Alright. I thought I'd burst these. I'm making new ones. Looks like it. Oh shit! I got held down trying to hold my ball. Alright. 
Oh, that was freaking bullshit. I like to buy a bowel movement for 500 pieces. <laughs> Get this to work this time. Oop, 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 careful. Careful. Wish I could just turn that damn thing off, but no. Just a little further to that vent. Oop, oop, oop. Yeah, made it. Oh, it's Elliot's turn, but I guess just for the, I don't know if he wants me to do this. So can I like shoot? Oh, I can. Holy shit. He's got little rockets on this damn thing. Where do I get an RC car like this? Oh man, I'm telling you, the, the turtles would love this. It's even got homie. I'm sure Donatel and him would be like best friends. I'm just gonna go for it. Garbage up. Look at all these chips up here. We could totally take this for money. Alright, back up. I don't want to get thrown out the chute. No! No! Sick. Yeah. Oh, come on! It's so close! I don't know if you want to do this or not, technically it's you, but I'm just kind of like shooting around. Okay. <laughs> Which of the following is Carmelita considered? Constable, General, Lieutenant, Inspector? I think, I think I remember that question. She's Inspector, but I think... I think they said at one point, like, she technically has the rank of a lieutenant or something. How about this? What is her rank in the first game? Inspector. Correct. Inspector Carmelita Fox is Sly's main enemy, although Sly has a huge crush on her. Inspector Fox does get a constable during the second game, Neela. She also has lieutenants throughout the game, but is considered one herself. I like this little RC car, it's pretty badass. I'm sure the TMNT uh, turtles would just, especially Donatello, would just love this car. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. In slide two, Band of Thieves, how many episodes are played? Kind of a trick question. Alright, I gotta think. Go for it. Slide two. Oh! God damn it. What? Like, was that wind really strong or did something hit you that it was blowing? I think, I think it's just a lot of stuff comes out of it, so that's why it does so much damage. Oh, Radio shock. Try to time that. Uh, <clears throat> okay, hold on. You got. The second one, correct? The second game, correct. Um, I can't let those fighters put the fight on the RC car. How do I hit after this? 
I'm trying to remember if there was a prologue or not. Is nine your final answer? Give me a second. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. And another thing. No more whistling. I don't want to hear no guards whistling for no reason, no how, no way. If you want, you I can go out of Tennessee. He's a shooter in your life. If you got this one wrong, it's probably because you forgot the prologue episode. The other episodes are the Black Ch Chate or Chateau, uh, Starry Eyed Encounter, The Predator Awakens, Jailbreak, A Tangled Web, He Who Tames the Iron Horses, Menace in the Nenas, or an Anatomy for Disaster. But you were correct. It was nine? It was nine. Wait, it was a prologue one of them? Yeah. Yeah, it includes it because it's a playable part. I didn't count. I messed up my counting somewhere. <laughs> I somehow ended with nine without counting the prologue. Uh -huh. Looks like Toothpick rustled himself a pretty lady. Sweet scuffling jackrabbit. That's no lady. That's Carmelita. What is she doing here? You know her? I'm afraid so. Something is very wrong here, Tennessee. But all quantum physics aside, we have to rescue her. Except Nobody Dimitri. Because <coughs> I did, I said it was like Dimitri, Murray, two Rajans, two John Bassans, two Constable Neil, or yeah, Constable Neil of the Contessa, those two. Yeah. And the prologue. And then I went to Arpeggio, and I think I said nine because I lost track, I lost count. It was two I, Constable Neil, it was two yeah, uh, I, the reason I The reason I got nine was because I had I did um how are you not like like you had a clear shot but they're just like no we're not gonna give that to you um I don't know I, I just somehow I, I guess I messed up my counting or I forgot what number I was on that's okay still it. worked out in the end <laughs> why can't he run too the Panda King joins the Fiendish Five in what position? What was his title? Uh, demolition expert. That is correct. Miss Ruby is the chief mystic. Mugshot is the ruthless uh, muscle. Uh, Riley is the chief mechanic or machinist. Clockwork is the Fiendish Five's leader. After the first game, the only members that return in the third game is Mugshot and the Panda King. Even though pictures appear of them in the museum in the second game, they don't appear. Cool. In Sly 2 Band of Thieves, what is the very first location Sly visits? Some museum. Well, you're correct with the museum. Do you remember where? 
If you don't, you still got this right. Isn't there like Paris or something? No. Uh, it's a museum in Cairo. Sly and the gang attempt to steal the clockwork parts from the museum, only to find that they have already been stolen. In her typical fashion, Inspector Fox thinks they are the culprits, and chase and a chase ensues. Stinking cowards! Afraid to untie me and fight like men? I swear, when I get out of this... No sense fretting about that, little lady. Mm, cry, cry, little dear, yes. Just enjoy the oh, ride. Yeah, I hated this. <clears throat> yeah, you... You have fun with that. Because <laughs> I really don't want to do that. Oh, you might want to. Oh, no. I like how you go down with the rapid. No, this is. I was trying to do it, but like, I press R two and it didn't load. So I let go, and, it, and when you, at the moment you like try to do R two and you let go, you use up all your energy. Yeah. There we go. Before Sly Cooper, the Thieves in Time was released. There were only ten known ancestors. Which of the following were never mentioned in the series before that game? Sly Tutankhamen, uh, Cooper the second, Connor Cooper, Thaddeus Winslow Cooper the third, Bob Cooper. Which wasn't named? Yeah. Which of the following were never mentioned in the series before? I'm not sure if we should really... Uh, skip that one. Skip that one? Okay. We'll have to come back to that one later. <laughs> that one's kind of a spoiler. Um, after the third game splits up at the end of Sly Cooper 3, Murray found a new passion and profession. What was it? In which one? After, after the game split up in the end of Sly Cooper 3. Murray found a new passion and profession. What was it? Race car driver? That is correct. Or, uh, derby. Sorry. No, you're correct. Uh, race car driver. Oh, really? This is what they, they put down as. When Sly left the Cooper gang to pursue a relationship with Carmelita Fox by faking amnesia, Bentley and Murray both decided to pursue their own interests as well. Bentley, along with his girlfriend, Penelope, spent his time researching time travel and creating a time machine. Murray took his van and used it to become a racer. Decimating the comp the competing sport cars with only his large van, which is really impressive. <laughs> Holy shit, he got there so fast! Oh, the car? Yeah. Like I can only slide rail so fast. Are you enjoying this? Yeah, as long as you hit it, you don't have to do the special just to get it. If you can just freaking shoot it, then you're good. Well, there's like, when you do the special, like, it, it went so much faster. Yeah, it does, but. On the off chance that you miss. <laughs> Nicely done. Start slinging some lead. Nice. Is there a limit to how many you can uh, grab up to? Yeah, if you look uh, top left, oh, you can't see it because it's, it's outside the screen. Oh, okay, no, I gotcha, I gotcha. Yeah, you can get, because you're shooting a revolver, so you can only have... How many? Six. Six. Hit the brakes already! Alright, how old is John Pazan in Sly 2? Correct. I mean, they didn't give an exact number. His, he's he was over 100 years old. Yeah, he was old as shit and then he, he got frozen. The answer is over 100 years old. Originally, he was a prospector during the gold rush in the late 1840s, early 1850s. 
He was frozen due to an avalanche, and over 100 years later, he thawed out due to global warming. So technically, he's way over 100 years old. So Sly Cooper confirmed global warming is a thing. <laughs> there you go. Take that, you non-believers. <laughs> if it happened to Sly Cooper, that means it's real. We're on. Who's the Murray? All I see is a fat, pathetic blank. What did he say? Weakling. on called Murray a fat, pathetic weakling. Murray attacked him after he says weakling to him. This happens in Sly 2, Band of Thieves. How many times do you battle battle Dr. M as Sly Cooper? Not counting the tutorial. How many times does Sly battle Dr. M? I need to blow that barrier away. Dr. Minky. Can't you stop this thing? Don't worry your pretty head, Miss Carmelita. Pleased to meet you, ma'am. Why, I'm Tennessee Kid Cooper. Don't tell me. You're a Cooper, right? I knew it. Yes, ma'am. Bentley told me you... Stop calling me ma'am. The name's Inspector Fox. Wait, Bentley's here? Well, looks like they're right behind us. Carmelita, I'm glad you're okay. Well, that conniving little... Much obliged for a helping hand, Inspector Fox. Let me run these banditos over to prison. And I'll be back for you, all oh, in lickety split. Of course, you feeling neighborly? You could just turn yourselves in. <laughs> as much as I like the idea of Sly in a cell, nobody kidnapped Inspector Carmelita Fox and gets away you with You go, girl. The Latino's coming out. <laughs> Watch it. Um, I'm in no mood for smart remarks. Now, are you ready for another mission, Tennessee? Yes, ma'am. Oh, I mean, I surely am, Inspector Fox. I like there's a hole in his ear. Twice? That's correct. You fight him once when he is attacking, <coughs> attached to the monster. One time he is attacking, he's attached to a whale, and the last time in the final battle. Yeah, you only fight him uh, twice. Uh, something needs to be done about those Cooper characters. I like how she's like a part of the group, but not a part of the group. Yeah, I can buy power ups for her. Yeah. Alright, we all know that you fight the panicking twice in exactly the same way, so instead of asking that, however, do you know where does the duplicate battle occur? The duplicate battle occurs in. The Panda King's mind, because the Guru does the the mind swap thing with uh, Sly. Correct. Inside of Panda King's mind, when the Guru bridges the minds. If you remember the the prelude to the episode, the Panda King was meditating atop a tower to in a tranquil part of China. After you do a series of mini jabs to get the gang up up to him, Sly sits down in front of the Panda King while the Guru connects the minds together, which is really awesome. Yeah. What freaking power, man! You need something when you're gonna live out in the Australia, in like outback. Yep. Yeah. yeah, that's true. I can make it. <laughs> I I have total faith in you. <laughs> This river is dangerous, but it leads back to the prison. Way I figure it, they won't be expecting us to come this way. Are you sure you're up to this, Miss Fox? Uh, that's Inspector Fox? But just call me Carmelita. And thanks for the rescue, by the way. My pleasure. Inspector? Are you some kind of sheriff? How'd you get mixed up with Sly? It's a long, complicated story. Right now, <laughs> well, I'm, I'm gonna fucking beat me. Sly for later. <laughs> and when she means long, she's not referring what? to the story. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so, what's this prison like, anyway? <laughs> oh, that's Sly dog. <laughs> Plenty of fire, for starters. Terrific. Let's get going. 
I like how that works on a rubber. <laughs> we gotta get the things turning somehow. True. All right. What aircraft does Arpeggio own? A blimp. Correct. The final level of Sly 2 is com is completed on Arpeggio's blimp. You stow away on it without his knowledge so you can defeat him and his evil plans. You never do fight him, though. He dies in the level. <laughs> yeah, shit happens. Fucking gets blown to smithereens. Don't you hate him? No, he, uh... She, I think, hit her, hit him with her whip, and he, like, exploded. Miss Carmelita. Oh, yeah. You forget how to use that pistol, did you? Something along those lines. Oh. Not a chance. I just... Okay. During the third game, a coffee shop guard guard wants to be buried in something. What is it? There's a mama spaghetti sauce. That's correct. The guard claims that his mama's papa sauce is so good, he wants to be buried in it. Sly can't get it out of his mind. He can't see how pasta sauce could be so good. He keeps bugging Bentley about stopping for a bite to eat to see what the big deal is about Italian sauce. Let it go with the sauce. Oh man, we, we need to talk about having a trip out to Italy because he's already been out there. Because it was like he went back when he was in high school. He did like that study abroad thing or whatever, and he had he got to go to like Italy and all that. I'm like, dude, that'd be awesome. Holy shit, dude! <laughs> I'm. She doesn't. It's not like in the other ones where like she if auto they're, aims if they're in the box. You know, you pretty much hit them Holy crap, they just do so much to the damn boat. Yeah, this one's gonna take you a while to get used to. <clears throat> like, I don't... Am I supposed to, like, shoot something else? Clear the dock of spear sharp shooters, so. though. You just gotta shoot up there and get rid of those guys. And watch the rabbits that are showing the dynamite. Holy crap, way to make that a sliver of health. Well, look, her, her, like, that when the box gets smaller, it, like, goes in, and I don't know if the L1 button on the controller was just crappy, can... or if it was just, did that quickly. I don't know, it was kind of weird. I don't know. In slide three, um, Honor Among Thieves... Who do you fight the exact same battle with as in the previous game in the trilogy? Kind of Panda answered King. this one, yeah. You have to defeat the Panda King by destroying part of his life while he attacks you with the same weapons as before. Then when he belly flops you, you must select a choice to make him sad to defeat him. Mokshap finds a different battle with fights a different battle with you. Dimitri doesn't fight you at all and John Bassan isn't even in the game. In Fire in the Sky, how many times does the panicking talk to talk to his men over the intercom? Yeah, panicking's area. How many times does he talk to his men over the intercom? Well, bring it on, he does it twice. Ah, I use once or twice. He called once to tell his men that one of the villages chose not to pay for the protection service. So he buried it under the snow. Yeah. He warned his men to look out for survivors that were looking for revenge. The second time was to tell them that there was a thief loose in the fireworks production facility and to kill him if he was seen. Who was helping Inspector Fox in her stakeout at the beginning of Sly 2 Band of Thieves? Mila. That's Cress. That's correct. That's Cress. That's Cress. That's Cress Wagon Stripes. <laughs> <laughs> Constable Nila. Inspector Fox allowed Constable Nila to come with her for, on the stakeout as a favor to the Contessa. But the arachnid lady is nowhere in sight. After coming out of hiding, Constable Nila drops a hint that it may have been the claw gang behind the theft of the clockwork queen. Or er, park. What was the name of the dragon General Sao summoned at the end of episode 4? In Slytherin. Uh, I don't know what that name is. I was just like Stone Dragon of the Temple or something. That is correct. Stone Dragon of the Temple. 
I hate her aiming. It's absolute shit now. Like General Cell summoned the dragon while raising his palms into the air, shouting, Stone Dragon of the Temple, I summon you! The dragon was long and red. <laughs> or like a or like a cheese and kidnapped Penelope. In my opinion, it was the best boss battle. I have to admit that was a pretty cool boss battle to go up against like a dragon. Though it did look kinda weird when its tongue kinda just hung out the side of its face. Yeah. Now that's what I call straight shooting. Yeah, I think I gotta make the way up now. Those stairs up there mean business. Huh. That switch looks like so many important. video game characters, Murray does not wear any entire does not wear an entire typical outfit. There is an integral article of clothing missing. What is he lacking? Pants. That's correct. <laughs> Due to the fact that Murray is so large around the waist, he has a difficult time finding clothes to fit him. So he chooses to go without pants. He does wear, however, a shirt, shoes, fingerless gloves, and a headband. In my opinion, he should find a good tailor to make him some custom fit trousers, or at the very least, a large pair of undergarments. <laughs> I hope you boys got a backup plan. Uh, let's see. What is the button sequence for the crypt passcode in Sly 3, General South level in China? When a guard stops you and you are in disguise. Oh, I have no idea. You just want to throw out a guess. Square, triangle, triangle, square. How about this one? It's all the same one. X, 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 X. That's correct. We are not is actually one of the simplest passwords in the whole game. Triangle, triangle, X, X is a password for Octavia's level. The other two aren't any passwords. The other two aren't any passwords in any level. So yeah, it's X, 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 X. <laughs> Katessa, not crazy, just stupid. You're an ignorant child playing Blink in his father's legacy. What did Katessa say? And dress up. Correct. All of these choices are game. All these choices are games, but Katessa said dress up. She knows all about the Cooper legacy in Sly 2 and Band of Thieves. She even said it after she even said it after she said this. Sometimes these boys do get a Which villain tried to hypnotize Sly and Murray? Contessa. Correct. Contessa was a secret member of the Claw Gang. She captured Sly and Murray, and Bentley had to rescue them before she hypnotized them and used them for her evil purposes. And before Bentley lost his mind for not having his friends. <coughs> oh yeah. That's him. <laughs> no, that, that's you too. Are messing with the wrong outlaw. No! Oh Zappa Wappy! I don't know, I told him to stop and he kept going and he fell off and got Zappy Wappy. Each of the characters have their own jobs. One of the following character and job matches up is wrong. Can you spot it? Murray, muscles. Penelope, RC Specialist, Dimitri, Driver, Bentley, Demolition Specialist. Dimitri. Oh wait, did you say Diver or Driver? Oh, my bad. I said Driver, it's actually Diver. Got it, then it's Bentley with Demolition Specialist. There you go. Because that became, uh... Yeah, because as soon as I said that, I'm like, wait, I think I just read that completely wrong to you. It's yeah. like, yes. So, yeah, you are correct. It is Bentley Demolition Specialist. This question probably caught you off guard if you've forgotten about the Panda King taking the position away from Bentley. It's just like how Penelope took her title away from Bentley as well. Just, but at the least, the turtle is still uh, the go-to guy for hacking. Who is the main enemy of Bloodbath Bay? Lafui. Correct. Lafui is the main enemy in this level. He is a mean pirate who has captured Penelope. You must get Bentley's love back for him in this level. God. I couldn't hit the stupid uh thing from where I was, and when I tried to like move, it just I don't know. It really doesn't respond very well. You think your uh, controller might be going out? I hope not. That's my good one. The other one, it's a uh, button stick. 
That one we're, we need to, like, either try and clean it or just get rid of it. I mean, it's a PS3. I mean, we'd probably be better off just replacing it, honestly. It's not like it's going to be that much. Which of the following colors is not on Sly Cooper's outfit? Yellow, red, blue, orange. Orange. Correct. Sly always wears his blue outfit with yellow stripes and some red as well. However, he does change his outfit to disguise himself. He was become he was become a photographer in purple suit and also a guard in Venice. He has also become punk to disguise himself during a trip. In Sly 3, Honor Among Thieves, how many times do you fight Dr. M and his monsters? So those are all the monsters he attaches himself to. Yeah. Um... Rats in a saddlebag. Yeah, I'll see if you can count that. I'll just give you a minute. <laughs> this bitch right here! Good rips, huh? Um, uh, okay, so... Um... How many different monsters? It says, how many times do you fight Dr. M and Get his monsters? Alright, well, he's got the big gorilla. Uh-huh. The whale. Yeah. Squid or whoever the, yeah, whoever the Dimitri the, fought the, him the with. The fish in the water. Um, by himself in the... When you fight him in Sly. Do you... I don't know if you count the one where, ben, where Murray's holding him and Bentley's got to put the little glass thing on him. I don't know if you count that as really fighting. Well, it's saying how many times do you fight Dr. M. It's not saying, like, how many times did Sly fight him. No, I'm saying, but, like, did that count as really fighting him? I believe it would, because you're doing damage to him. Uh, so, how many in are you taking? I can't go up any higher. fight the monster as Sly, then a different time as Carmelita, yeah, then the underwater player. monster as Dimitri, then flying whale monster as Sly and his biplane. Okay, so they're counting for a while. Yeah. And finally his spider machine as Sly and Carmelita. The question about, about is about how many times, not how many battles. I like how she could just jump fucking straight up there. Just flies open and whacks you. You go on. I'll stay here and cover you. Fighting the Panda King in the first game, Tennessee, which of these games does, does he use? Run and jump, windmill, hit and run, falls and thunder. Falls and thunder. Correct. For this movie, we'll, we'll try to squish on, Sly with his big hands. It didn't work, and Sly beats him. <laughs> that hot fox. My inner fu <laughs> furry right? is is ready. I read that as fury as well. I, I, <laughs> I read that like fury. I know. 
look Nick like Fury. It everything. But if it wasn't for this handsome and charming gentleman, I wouldn't even be here. Oh, sure. <laughs> handsome and charming? Really? Look, Carmelita, I know. Save it, Sly. All I want to know right now is how I get back to Paris. Actually, Carmelita, I was more curious how you got here in the first place. But guys, where's the van? <laughs> Necessities. We'll have Priorities. To track oh, yeah. Down later, Murray. Now, what were you saying, Carmelita? It's a long story, Bentley. Let's get moving and I'll tell you. I like how they don't really have a bad relationship no, or anything. No, she, the, when it comes to Bentley and Carmelita, they, they're pretty straightforward. Like, for the most part, like, she does respect... Well, even with Murray, remember in, uh, Menace in the North, eh? Yeah. When he, she gave him, like, Jelly Bean, and she has no ill... No, that was in, um, He Who no, Chains Iron that, Horses. Yeah, the Iron, Iron Horse one, yeah. Yeah, where she had him trapped, but he's like, all I could find was his food. Sorry, so she, yeah, it's cramped. She, no, yeah, she said, sorry, it's cramped, and he's like, no, that's fine, but thanks for the jelly bean, that was so hungry. When I saw that arrogant little, that no good <laughs> lion, oh, I should have tied his mangy tail around his neck. I should have blasted that smug look right off his face. I, 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 I should probably just finish my story. After the Cooper gang escaped at the museum, I decided to follow my nose and take a look around. I'd been investigating the trading of stolen antiquities on the black market, but I'd never guessed that two-faced ringtail was involved. Then as I turned the corner, I was stunned to see a huge stash of stolen treasure right there in the museum. And even more shocking, Cyril Le Paradox himself unloading them. I couldn't Fucking believe it. Forehead. The billionaire art collector and museum patron was behind this? I was so surprised that by the time I reacted, his goons already had me covered. Then that slimy, sawed-off runt had me thrown into some vile machine. And the next thing I knew, I was playing cowboys and criminals. The Old West, time travel, it was completely loco. Sure, Le Paradox had done some time in his youth, but he'd been squeaky clean ever since. And Interpol had never considered him a suspect. There were rumors about the source of his wealth, but nothing had ever been proven. Now I knew I'd solved that mystery. And of course, Cooper and his little friends were involved somehow. Dirt. Why was I not surprised? <laughs> the flea bag tried to feed me some story about having to rob the museum to save the future. But I was done listening to that liar. I needed to get back to Paris. <laughs> but that toad stolen Murray's van. There's the expression. So angry. <laughs> She's so I scary. So now I was stuck in this lousy dust bowl with the Cooper gang. I don't know what made me angrier. Not being able to bust the lowlife skunk, or being trapped here with that lying ringtail. Ooh. The only bearable thing about this whole mess was that at least Cooper's ancestor was a gentleman. <laughs> Still likes the Cooper game. <laughs> I like how we can just keep buying the parts that come through. Hell yeah. It's so happening to start with a small loan of a million coins. I know, right? What is the name of the gang of villains in Sly 2? Claw Gang with two W's and a K. I love how you have to spell it like that. It's Claw with a K and two W's. The Claw Gang, K with two W's, consists of Dimitri, uh, Par Parmesan, Parmesan, Money Forger, oh, Rajan, um, Rajan, Illegal Spice Lord, John Passan, Trey. Train Baron and Lumberjack Extraordinaire, and Arpeggio, the Mechanical Genius. There are also one or two secret members, but these aren't mentioned until later. How many times was Penelope captured in the third game? Alright! Thanks to the bug in Toothpick's office, we have a pretty clear idea of what's going on. Toothpick plans on moving the stolen gold out of the mine using his special train. Unfortunately, that train is now also being turbocharged by our van. And need I mention that we're stranded in time unless we recover it? Well, anyway, it's useless to go after the train in the mine. Toothpick will have stepped up security since our escape, and the place will be crawling with guards. We're going bugs. to have to hit that train while it's rolling. But first, we're going to have to catch it. And we'll do that by diverting its route. 
After surveying the rail system, I've determined there are three key track switches we will need to throw. And Toothpick has entrusted the keys mm -hmm. to three of his toughest henchmen. Wildman Wiesner, Frenchy Lestache, and Red Eye Robles. Furthermore, these well, guys keep it. the keys around at all times. The good news is that during the Toothpick Appreciation Festival, there are a number of contests, and all of them will be competing. Murray, I took the liberty of entering you in the Bare Knuckle Brawl Contest. Wildman is the defending champion, and he's sure to have the key on his person. Sly, I hope you're feeling fast, because you're going to be competing in the crookedest oh, race in the West, one. the Toothpick 500. Frenchy happens to be the defending champ, so it's a sure bet it's his time that you'll have to beat. Carmelita, you'll be up against Red Eye in the shooting contest. As the defending champ, he keeps the trophy close by with the third key inside. Now let's get going. We don't have any time to waste. How do you get captured? I'm trying to think of like future like other episodes. It's one other episode. I know she gets captured by Captain McQueen. Looks like we got ourselves a sucker. Yeah, I mean challenger. So let's get on with it. Wait, where are you fighting? You're fighting them. Oh, there's a slime on some thing. Um. No, I have to do the rolling. The race. Let's hope he finds better than last year's contestant. May he rest in peace. Oh, I'm going to show you how Correct. She was captured in the first. She was captured first in episode four of Cold Alliance when General Sal's dragon grabbed her. Oh, that's the, where it was. I, I knew. I saw you trying to think of that too. The second time was when Captain Lofui kidnapped her to try to get Dimitri's uh, treasure back from the Cooper game. Murray has quite the appetite, but he won't eat just anything. In fact, if you let Murray stand still for a long uh, long enough uh, time, and Sly Cooper sees him time, he will begin to eat some sort of food. But if it is a vegetable, he will not eat it. Which of these vegetables will he throw on the ground and refuse to eat? Broccoli. Cucumber? Kale, bok choy, broccoli. <laughs> well, actually, right when he came out of the... Uh, safe house, and then we did the little thing. He had a piece of broccoli in his hand. <laughs> You're correct, it's broccoli. That's the only reason I was able to know, know that one so fast. Oftentimes, just for added fun, game designers make their characters perform certain actions if you leave them motionless for certain periods of time. In the case of Murray, he will pull out a variety of foods and eat them. However, it, if it is a piece of broccoli then that he eats, he will throw it on the ground and surprise and suppress his bark. Yes, he hates healthy foods almost as much as I did when I was a young kid. Kick his eyes! Too bad you can't use, like, any of your abilities, right? Should I try to throw an enemy at him? And, and he, like, stays up pretty close to you, actually. Yeah, because he, he stays really He stays close right to on you, and like my punches don't do that much damage. And it's like, I don't really know what I'm supposed to do. How many spin attack level upgrades are there in Sly 2? One. None. There isn't any because it's included with Sly's normal attacks. Just press square to attack and keep it held down until electrical wall forms at the top of Sly, uh, Sly's king. Then let it go to do the spin attack. 
in Sly, in Sly 3, there are three different levels, but you have to purchase them on that list. That computer. I think I said one because I'm like, he gets it, but I think he said upgrades, so just like, yeah. Uh, Alright, <clears throat> you get to do the Indianapolis 500. Fucking great. Ugh! Not a problem, because you know. Don't say it. <laughs> That's how I roll. That's the way I roll. I feel like I'm in the circus. Can't slow down now. Left. My time is running out. Oh shit! I saw that coming. Yeah, I did too. I couldn't do anything with that. All right, jump us on. I think you better rethink them scores, boys. What I intended to give. Feel like what I'm the in hell? A yeah, the person writing this screwed this up. Joke, what you intended you to give me was perfect blank, right? What do you say? Perfect ten. Every ten. Tens. At the Lumberjack Games, John Bassan yelled this at his judges when he got zeros on the log chopping competition. He forced them to give him tens and fly two and be. Why do I feel like I'm back in heat? <laughs> All right. Oh! Come on, Sly, get your back into Move it. Camera. Ugh, even my tail is tired. Did you know what I think? Better keep an eye out for that jackalope. You can do this, pal. Go! Do it. Go, 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 go. I can't. Oh! I see you raising Bally got my dick. Oh, shit. I think that one, I think you should have followed the arrow. Yeah. Which villain did not appear in the second game? You know, I really wish they'd get some was it even the police force in the Sly Cooper series? This definitely reminds me why I uh, Interpol. Yep. The Contessa is the head of Interpol in Sly 2 until her involvement in the Claw game becomes known. Then Neela takes over. It is implied that Carmelita is in control in the third game. Can't slow down now. Why do I feel like I'm back in prison? Fucking crazy ass rabbits. You better get on the ball, Sly. <laughs> Ooh, my bad, buddy. <laughs> Sorry, Paul. This is the craziest race I've ever seen. <laughs> actually, isn't it his name, uh, Thorina? Yeah. It's actually <laughs> the team. <laughs> oh, that actually. Who is the foe that you face in Sly 3 Honor Among Thieves that, as Bentley reported, hit a puppy twice? Oh, my legs feel like spaghetti. Almost there, Sly. Don't stop now. It's time to show these folks some real speed. Oh, shit. Oh, that is I, bull. It was I came the up finish the line. Side. The finish line was right there. That They threw that dynamite and got you. Yeah, who is the foe that you face in Sly 3, like Honor Among Thieves, that, as Bentley reported, hit a puppy twice? This definitely reminds me why I prefer picking pockets. Uh, Come on, Sly, get your back into it! Twice. Sly, time is running out! El Jefe? Sly or, 3. Oh, Sly 3. Sorry. Oh my god. Uh, uh, uh! Um, I, I like really want to see Octavio. No, wait. Yeah. Hurry yeah, that's Sly 3. Um, I'm trying to think of all the enemies, but I'm getting them mixed up with, like, Sly 2. Alright, your enemies the are Octavio. Uh, there wasn't really necessarily an enemy in uh, Guru's. Um, after Guru, you went and got... You did Fly to Fancy, so Black Baron. After Black Baron, you have... 
Uh, General Sal. After General Sal, you have Captain Lafui. All leading up until Dr. Feel like I'm in the circus. No time for jokes, Fly. You better get moving. Get a puppy. Oh, my legs Flex. feel like spaghetti. You know what? I'm gonna go with Lafui. And the answer is General Sal. Once Sal. you make your new safe right. house in a cold alliance. Bentley will start one of his slideshow presentations. If you actually pay attention to the slideshow, you will hear Bentley mention how this cruel the bird is, ending with, if he saw him, if saw him, he saw him, Jesus Christ, person here, saw him hit a puppy twice. <laughs> In the end, however, he gets his just desserts as you rob his treasure while helping out the hand king. By as he, let, him as, as he king. lets said puppy get vengeance. As he lets the puppy beat him up. up. As he lets the puppy kick him. Alright. You better get on the ball, Fly. <laughs> oh shit! Oh. Why do I feel like I'm back and there's a slight delay when those circles appear, so that's good. Hold up there, Sly. Don't stop that! Otherwise, how else would you like? Even my tail is like Run so close I can smell. Yeah. That. can stand up to me. I see what you mean. I can barely stand you myself. But if you're scared of losing, I understand. <laughs> well, I just won the competition, so you're too late. But I'll tell you what, I'll make you a deal. You just go right ahead, sweet thing. If you can beat my score, you get this here trophy. <laughs> but if you lose, you gotta give me a kiss. What do you say? I... This guy's breath smells like fermented gym socks. Carbolita, we don't have a choice. All right, I'll take your wager. But you better get ready to hand over that trophy. And you better get ready for some serious lip this, wrestling. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> lip wrestling. Where do you hide to listen to Dr. M's conversation for the first time when he kills his helper? Elevator. That's top correct. Elevator. You head on top of the elevator where you can't, where you can get a good view of him and be able to listen to him. He poisoned his helper at lunch, so he died. He gave absolutely no thought to the poor elephant's wife and kids, and simply told the janitor to clean up this mess. Don't call me top shot at Interpol for nothing. Do this left hand. Nice last minute grab. Oh, <laughs> that is just like fuck it. <laughs> well, at first I hit nothing but like the blue target, so I didn't know what exactly I had to, I had to hit. It yeah. just zooms in so hard that it, it doesn't help. Yeah. In slide three, honor among thieves. How many playable characters are there? Just have to keep my foot. Slide three. Yes. It actually helps if I put your slide space on the target. Well done. Hey, it says it's only one point against you. Oh. I got that rapid fire on. Yeah. This guy is going for an unpleasant surprise. That actually doesn't help. Don't call me top shot at Interpol for nothing. Nice way to finish with the bird. Hell yeah. What the? <clears throat> this 
Yeah, normal. It's like, like three. Yeah. Trick. Normal the three. only thing disappearing is your trophy, red eye. Girl. Way to go, Carmelita. Now grab that key. Carmelita. <laughs> That's right. Cry, you bastard. You failed. Original three, the guru, Carmelita, Dimitri, Panda King. I know which one you're missing too. Uh, something needs to be done about those goober characters. I don't like them scooping around uh, my town or my mind. Oh, there's a plan. Oh, nice. Uh, if you want to use your phone down, what the answer is. Yeah. Um, three. Guru, Carmelita, Penelope, Panda King, Dimitri. No, they don't count. They don't count the squid. No, because he's he's, he's not actually guru. a part of the team. Because that was more like the guru, the guru taking, taking him over. over. Okay. Yeah. All right. Fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah. So, um. What is your total number? I can't remember. I have a camera probably at eight or nine. What's you were uh, originally at eight. I had eight, but I think I said panda king. Um, if that put me up there. Yeah, you right, said so the original that three, one. Guru, Carmelita, mm. Dimitri, Panda King, Penelope, uh, and other one. the other okay I, I feel like you're thinking everyone, way too much the about clock this. is ticking on this one so we don't have time to monkey well, so I'm trying I'm like going I'm trying to like go through each episode and try to remember like the where we went band, who we played as impossible mm -hmm. to stop thankfully Tennessee was able to divert could, the yeah, trade get like some of the episodes and games the mixed up trying to do to that <laughs> first Murray you're okay, going to get the van back it's positioned near the rear of the trade acting not unlike a booster rocket it's going to take your considerable fighting skills just to reach it. The catch is that it's being secured with a set of special magnetic locks, which can only be broken by someone of your immense strength. Once the van is free, you'll be able to catch the train and pick each of us up as we complete our tasks. Carmelita, you and I will tackle the next set of cars. I need you to use your peerless marksmanship and cover me while we make our way forward. It won't be easy. The train is crawling with guards, and they'll be gunning for both of us. Our goal is to reach a computer terminal near the middle of the train, where I'm going to do a little hacking. As we already know, Toothpick cannot stand high-pitched frequencies, particularly whistles. So I'll reroute the power and control of the steam whistles on the train engine. Something tells me this will come in handy when we finally reach him. Sly in Tennessee, you're and up next. The last one to ensure do. we stop Toothpick, we'll need to cover all possible escape routes. So Sly, you'll take the roof of the train. <laughs> I Tennessee, like the little drawing you'll move through the cars, where we should be able to reclaim your gold along the way. But your gunslinging will definitely be put to the test. You both should reach the engine around the same time, where you can take Toothpick down. The rest of us will catch up with you in the van. One man. last thing. Don't forget we're a team, and that's the only way we're going to be able to pull this off. Everyone needs to execute their part of the plan perfectly if we're going to get the van, steal the gold, and stop Toothpick. Now I let's move out. Come on, let me just double check to make sure I didn't... <laughs> let, me, let me check my fingers again. Hold on. <laughs> well, I, I have flicked my pinky a couple times. I can't remember if I went if I nine or eight.
Yeah, I'm going to go with eight. That's correct. It is eight. Go ahead and read the thing. These are Sly, Bentley, Murray, Guru, Penelope, Panikin, Dimitri, and Carmelita. I kept, well, I kept I'm trying to go through like each episode and make sure that I didn't do any other, like I didn't miss anybody that you played for like that episode and you know, catch them. Oh, you. In the third game, why does the Panda King take up meditation? Uh, wasn't it General Sal? Yes, General Sal convinced him to do this while planning to kidnap his daughter. He was still located in the Kunlun Mountains at this point. He spent his day thinking about the crime slide to defeat him. I don't think you'll get this one, but we'll try. Where is the prison run by the Contessa? Where is it located? Transylvania. No. It may be for all I know, but... I, I know you're not going to get this one. Uh, Prague? P-R-A-G-U-E. Yeah, Spoiler time! It's as it turns out, the Contessa is a master of hypnotherapy, and her pioneering techniques earned her a position as a prominent prison warden. However, the frightening walls of her prison are just a cover-up for the fact that she is hypnotizing criminals into the town where they staff their loot. Spoiler. Well, if you read it before. Oh, the person said spoiler alert on it. Yeah. Remember, gotta go close it up. 88 miles an hour. <laughs> the fact that he has that thing so souped up is amazing. Carmelita, we need to get to that terminal at the forward what in tarnation? Oh, there we go. I'm like, why didn't you just like that shoot? You have to aim. Because normally she already, like, has yeah. that set up. I've, I've never... Oh, there's her. Auto fire? Nice. Yeah, that just looks me cool there. Oh, that's really nice. Yeah, I've had that for a while. That's what I did when we were on the boat. I could not mention the gut roll roar in the title without asking something about it in one of the questions. Could I? The guttural or guttural what? roar. What? No, it doesn't. It's like G-U-T-T-U-R-A-L. Guttural roar is an ability of Murray that does what exactly? Scares enemies away? Yes. Well, in a sense, like it, it says, makes enemies quake with fear. Murray has several abilities throughout the series, but one of his trademark moves with your is shooting his. And my hiding, we make a great team. Now to jack that terminal. His ability to fear and or scare All right, time Yeah, is uh, the terrifying roar is proof of it, of this change. Uh, let's see. So Murray was originally quite fearful of most enemies. Once he decided to join Sly in the field, he became a bit more courageous. The roar is proof of this change, making this making the enemies fear him instead of the enemies making him cower. Yes. <clears throat> okay, how many how many enemy thieves? Of the Cooper gang from the previous games and during the in the trilogy, return in Sly Three. Which ones join um, the Cooper? So, how many enemy thieves of the Cooper gang from pe previous games during the trilogy return in Sly Three, and which ones join the gang? How many enemies from the previous games uh, do you see in Sly Three? Oh, oh nicely done. Way to squeeze that one out. You got, you know, you got Mugshot, you got mm -hmm. Dimitri. It's just... Repeat the question. How many enemy thieves of the Cooper gang from the previous games during the trilogy return in Sly 3? And which ones join the Cooper game? So how many enemies do you see in Sly 3 that were also in 1 and 2 yes. 
And then the second part of that is which ones join the group. Uh, okay, so yeah, Mugshot and Demetri. The reason I had you re-ask the question was because I couldn't tell if you were, if it could, like, come lead up or not that. No. I know you got Mugshot and Dimitri, and Dimitri is the one that joins your, the gang. Mugshot doesn't. Mm-hmm. And who's the last one? Uh, and then Panda King, who also joins uh, the gang. That's correct. It's the first part of the question is there are three enemies that come back in slide three, and two of which actually join your crew, which is Dimitri and Panda King. The three enemies that return from previous games in the trilogy are Mugshot, Dimitri, and Panda King. So three return. Panda King and Dimitri join the gang. Mugshot gets sent back to prison by Carmelita. Alright, Octavio, that's the toughest talk you've got. You're pathetic. Back in my day, we had blank that would make people pee their pants just as soon as they look at them. What did Octavio say? Say, uh, say it again. That's the toughest talk you've got. That's pathetic. Back in my day, we had blank that would make people pee their pants just as soon as they look at them. Uh, I actually don't remember. Enforcers. When Sly huh. got to the fireworks stand at the end of Run and Bomb, Octavia was holding Bentley and said this. After that, he started to run and Sly had to chase him in Sly 3, Honor Among Thieves. Alright, what type of animal was not in Sly Father's gang that was no that we know of from the information given in the third game? Okay. Um... It does not give options. Oh, I might be able to make this multiple choice for you. Uh, what type of animal was not in Sly's father's gang that we know of from the information? Well, I know if you say because Schmitty was like a walrus, mm -hmm. and then <clears throat> obviously Doctor M is like a monkey, and then Sly's father's a raccoon. So it, it, any option that's not that. Yeah, pretty I don't, know. I don't I can't tell you. Pretty what much, had. otherwise you would never have guessed this. They put the answer as an elephant. So there's no way you really would have been able yeah, to guess. Yeah, there's nothing that you could you could have said like I could have said a fox. Like a carmelito or a turtle or a anything else, honestly. Anaconda. Sly, Sly's father, a raccoon, was the leader of the gang. McSweeney, a large walrus, was the muscle, and Dr. M, a mad mechanical um, monkey, was the brain. They are parallel in this game to Sly's. Which boss battle from a previous game oh, must... Oh, what the hell? Oh. <laughs> Fall right off. Which boss battle from the previous game must you play again in the third game? You kind of answered this one three times. Which boss from the first one did to replay the third one? Yeah. Correct. In the level of Cold Alliance, Sly must face the Panda King in his medita meditation state. <coughs> Sly then negotiates Panda King out of the trance to recruit him for his gang. What was the condition of the Panda King joining the Cooper gang? And to help save his daughter, Jean King. Correct. While the correct answer was to rescue Jean King, each of these answers were done to gain a new member of the, on the team. For example, they had to not only fight in the Aces, but also win it for Penelope. In order to make the grease, greasy sweet Dimitri happy, they had to do a favor of recovering diving equipment. Lastly, the gang had to recover the Moonstone and Walking Staff from the miners in order to get the Guru on their side. Okay, now that the first letter of the first nine answers is spell out... Oh, okay. That's a good question. It says who is who is the answer. It doesn't really give you an uh, like a question to answer. This the answer is Constable. Constable Neela is Carmelita's helper during the second game. She acts uh, she acts as tough. She is on Carmelita's side. She acts as the oh sorry. She acts as though she is on Carmelita's side, but is really on Sly's side. However, she is on neither one of the sides and tries to become clockwork herself. Naming herself Fakla. Uh, uh, 
Now take the first letter of each of the first nine answers to spell out the name of the character from slide two. What is the correct answer? You got it, Chung! I like how that works. Great! Keep moving forward, Tennessee! The answer was John Passan. John Passan is a buffalo from Canada. He was frozen for several hundred years and was thawed out to our day. He was stolen some clockwork parts which run his iron horses on his or his train. Alright, this one you know who is the Penny right King's daughter. Jean King. Correct. Neela is dead. Juan is from Disney movie, and I created Ling Po. Her face is never shown in the games. What? <laughs> that was the, the 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 I guess response to that answer. Neela is dead. Mulan is from a Disney movie, and I created Ling Po. <laughs> what? Whatever this person is on, can I have some? I know, right? How many villains in total are there in Sly 2? Oh, sure, I didn't realize that was actually moving. Um, in Sly 2? Yeah. Uh, We did realize that the stream has slowed down and it's coming in very laggy, so we will be swapping that out with the recorded one, which I'm so glad we made that. Yeah, so anyone who's watching the, uh, you know, that will be watching the recording, uh, you're not getting the first hand. It's, we, we record as we stream, so. That way if something happens, because we have issues with our internet cutting out halfway through our streams and you're getting this horrible, like, uh, lagging bit of it, so we try to go ahead and replace that as soon as we can. Just fucking grab it, dude! I'm trying! Um, okay. Not sure if you'll get this one. The enemies in slide two. Uh huh. How many villains are in total in slide two? How are they fitting all that in that little van, honestly? Does he have one of those Jimmy Neutron, like, infinite boxes or whatever? I'm, I'm just gonna say six. Close. You were very close. It was seven. In addition to the four central members of the Claw Gang, Arpeggio, Rajan, uh, John Passan, and I didn't Dimitri. count Arpeggio. Because you don't really do anything with him. But he's still a member for the fact that he builds their stuff. Because yeah. he's considered a villain, I just didn't, not a I was, fightable villain. That's what I was, I was counting fightable boss, because I was like, Dimitri, Rajan, Contessa... Um, yeah, so Constable Neela, Constable Neela, and don't forget John Bacla. Yeah, then they kind of clock clock yeah. and John Bassan. But of course, they are both defeated in the end of Colossal. Black Baron, beware, my boys! I've trained blank years and fisty cuffs. Holgalism is my passion. What did the Black Baron say? I've trained for how many years? Control for blank years. I'll take yeah. care of this. Uh, Twenty years. Eh, put that by half, you get ten. Ten. The Black Baron says this before Sly and him fought on the wing of the plane. He lists that he has spent ten years at Fizzy Cup and Sly 3 Honor Among Thieves. This is going to suck. Oh, I want to get the... Oh, shit. 
Oh, it's just those. Okay. Squash me. <laughs> oh, I think he gets dizzy, so just be cocky to that. Yeah. gonna take me like another yeah oh come on that should have barbecued him running on those uh on those like wooden claws I should dodge these whirlwinds Cuz we to make sharp turns Yeah Usually a health every time you fight him. Yeah, thank god. Oh my god. Or every, every time you like hit him, or you burn it to your health. Yeah. But otherwise, that would just be fit. Get the ball. You should talk less and aim more. Okay, break those. That, I think that would have actually finished me. Yeah, those are instant kills. Come on. Oh, oh my god. god. Yeah, and when he's coming at you, if you run to that big guy, you do it. Yeah, don't uh, yeah, don't run straight lines because that's how he's getting. I wasn't you. trying to. I was just trying to get around. <clears throat> okay. Oh, nice. Where is all of that? Oh, cool. Can you get a check point? Need to focus. Can't stay in one place. Gotta keep moving. Can't stay in one place. Gotta keep moving. He's gonna turn. Yeah, I know. Squash me. Really? Down. Yeah, whichever whatever direction he's coming at you with, don't yeah. run with him. And you'll be fine. No way to jump these twisters. I'll have to uh. avoid them. God damn, I was trying to do like the whole there we go. It's only like three times you gotta do it. It's so weird. Really, most of the time, it's a lot of enemies always like do like four or something. Yeah. Ha. Huh. <laughs> you read. Fucking barbecue his ass. Well, well. Lucky 
was the cat drug in. Looks like this here's our stop. Lies! We got a real problem! I think I just took care of that, Bentley. No, Lies, the train! It's headed for a broken bridge! I'm guessing that wasn't part of the plan? Lies, you have to get off that train! Jump to the van! Gotta get off, like, right fucking now, man! Murray, hit the brakes! As the van hurtled into the ravine, it felt like we were in slow motion. The thought His that our adventures were over flashed through my mind as I braced for the crash. <laughs> then, in desperation, Bentley grabbed the closest thing at hand, Murray's Australian fossil necklace, and used it in the time machine. He saved our lives. But now, we had no idea hey, where we were yeah, at. Give me a hand here. With we held on as the van was sucked through the wormhole, tumbling around like a cork in the ocean. Who knew where we'd land? And more importantly, when? I, I forgot we came here. I thought we went somewhere else. You're gonna have to fight the boss. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I just realized that. That made me super happy. Fuck me. I hate the boss. <laughs> It does suck so very much. So it looks maybe like two something hours. Things weren't going very well. We'd landed somewhere, from the looks of it, prehistoric. I was slightly concerned when Bentley broke out the He's dinosaur He's an anti-pterodactyl gun. was the least of my worries. The crash landing had damaged the van, so the time machine wasn't working properly. Not only was traveling back to Paris impossible, but we couldn't even raise Dimitri on the transceiver. Also, we still had no idea how the Paradox had managed to develop his own time machine. And that was a scary thought. Carmelita was still really hot about things. I just wanted a chance to explain, to tell her how sorry I was for getting her mixed up in all of this. Before we had a chance to talk, she stormed off in a rage. I tried going after her, but I figured that wasn't the best idea. Our conversation would Nothing have to wait. Fine. At least until she holds the pistol. I feel you, man. <laughs> What's wrong? I said nothing! We I decided the fine. first order of business was figuring out where yeah, I think it's funny and when we were. <laughs> Shit. And then, how we were going to repair the van. <laughs> Otherwise, we'd have to get used to living in a cave. Permanently. Like how the thing is the wood cage. I know, right? <laughs> Plan of the cave raccoon. <laughs> oh, I do look forward to doing this one. Yeah, this one. I think everyone's gonna get a real kick out of this one. But all right, well, so we're gonna go ahead and end it here. Um, like I said, anyone watching the live stream, it kind of cut out uh, right before we did the boss battle there. Mhm. Mm <clears throat> but we're gonna end up putting the recording up. So anyone watching this in the future, you're just gonna have a nice, good recording the entire way through. So we thank anyone who joined in. And uh, kept the chat room going. We've actually been very lucky. The really? second half of this Sly Cooper series, having a lot of people get in the chat room and talking, which is awesome. We really, yeah, we everyone really that hops it. in, it's been like really great, Get awesome conversations. They're just very funny stuff. So, um, yeah, anyone watching us in the future, you know, feel free to come in and 
you know, start a conversation, talk about anything, crack yeah. a joke, doesn't matter. <laughs> we, we always stream every Monday and Wednesdays if we can. Last weekend we were just, we were busy, so we weren't able to stream either day, but we managed to still get something out there. Um, we're actually almost done with the Sly series. We do have maybe one, we got, we got this one, one more, and I think one after that one. No, uh, three more. Yeah, I think we have about three more, three more levels to go. Well, if you just look at the costumes, we get we got about three to four more costumes to go. Uh, yeah. Or we got, I think we got three more costumes we need to get. I think there's five total or six, but, um, but yeah, uh, you know, feel free to come in and be with us for the rest of it. Yeah, definitely. Uh, thank you everyone for joining us, and make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if there's any games that you want us to play. Please let us know whether it's PS. 3 ps2 we whatever please let us know um we will be doing jack and dexter after this series yeah, after we, sly can't so, wait to start that series oh i know so be excited for that guys and we will all catch you next time possibly on wednesday when we play another level of this so thank you all for joining in and we'll catch you next time later bye okay so we're gonna